The Feynman technique is built on the premise that through teaching we can better understand a subject. It's named after the late American physicist Richard Feynman, who worked on the Manhattan Project in the 1940s. In this video I'm going to talk about how I developed this technique to suit my own requirements to be more suited for a modern era of digital communications. So the question is whether you could get to know what things do without better than we do today. In other words, as the generations develop, will they invent ways of teaching and way, so that the new people will learn the tricky ways of looking at things and be so trained, so well trained, that they won't have our troubles. The original Feynman technique can be broken down into the five key steps. You choose a subject, you teach it to yourself, you identify areas of confusion, you then simplify that and review and refine it. By actively teaching the subject and constantly questioning where your grey areas are, you can expand and reinforce your knowledge of the subject itself. In my version of this, there's five steps as well. I start by choosing a subject, I then do the research, I then write up my notes into a blog post, I'd create video content around that like you're seeing here, and then after that I'd get feedback from viewers. Let me dive into each of these areas individually and explain why this combination of constant learning and content creation works so well for me and it may for you as well. For choosing subject matters, I keep a running list of topics that I want to look into further on my phone. I'm mainly interested in blockchain development, decentralized finance, so most of the topics I look at I'll find on kind of crypto Twitter, I'll see people, someone talking about something, and well, it might not be convenient to kind of start diving into that then, I'll just make a quick note of it on the app, and then when I get more time, I'll start kind of researching that and see if it's a good topic to create content around and something that I want to really kind of do a deep dive into. For research, it's going to be quite field specific. But for what I do, there's kind of six areas for I look at first. Search engines are the obviously go to. I start by Googling the subject matter and seeing kind of what content is available. Then official documentation, particularly for developers, this is really useful and underused. There's YouTube videos, which are often good to get an overview of a subject. Then there's social media where you can search for a hashtag and you can get the very latest breaking news about a subject. If you're not there already, then in the future, I think we're gonna see AI tools like ChatGPT become really important because of their ability to break down complex subjects and explain it better than a human can do. And then finally, we have outreach, and it's easier than ever now to connect with a colleague or someone on social media and ask for a quick video call to pick their brain and get some real life opinions from someone what's working in the industry or has a specific knowledge about the subject that you're researching. While I'm researching, I'm going to dump a load of notes into a text file, and then at some point, I'll write them notes up into a blog post. The blog post helps me compartmentalize and highlight any gray areas where I'm not quite sure about or I need to dive into further to look up and find things out. The blog post is made up of different sections, and this helps me take a subject and break it down into modules, and then focus on each module individually to make sure that I understand each kind of independent subsector of a subject. Once I finish the blog post, I then shift my focus to creating video content. I make these little YouTube videos, and that helps me summarize the information and ensure that I have an understanding of it. There's nothing like kind of creating content and putting it out there for the world to see, or a handful of people to see maybe, that kind of puts pressure on you to really understand a subject and know what you're talking about. And then the final part of this is feedback. When you put content out there, you'll get feedback in the form of comments, DMs, and this can be really useful in challenging your own assumptions and filling in areas where you might not have as deeper understanding as you thought you did. By combining the Feynman technique with modern tools such as blog posts and YouTube videos, you can create a system for efficient learning and help share your newfound knowledge with others. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for updates, hit the like button, and thank you for watching.